Hey everybody, today we finna do another unboxing. Y'all wonder why I got Nat for station here, the two talking Gorons, Edward, our friend Billy. Well, this might tell you otherwise. Huh, I meant to say this might figure out your clue. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Let's see what we got in here. It's like another part slot I ordered. Just look at all that green. green. Ooh. Ooh, it's out the way. So the first one we got is of course a Tommy Arthur. And this Arthur is kind of in pretty good condition. Side rods are missing, retraction tires. It's kind of open. They're not in bad condition. Huh? So let's say I compare this with my hit Arthur. So this is my hit Arthur that I always use. And it runs pretty good. So I don't know. So I don't know why I'm gonna do it with this offer just yet. I might customize this. I'm not sure what, what I'm gonna customize into in this into. Leave y'all answers in the comments. I'm gonna put offer there. There's even more. And this, this here. It's a. Uh, Chassis, it's a chassis from Toby, but shells, but shell didn't come with it. That's what cell is set stated. So we're gonna put that there. And then this. This is actually my fourth steel of Freddy. This is my fourth steel of Freddy. Let's look at this guy. I don't think that these were even like ever used because these are in pretty good condition. And I'm now and, and I will be testing these after I unbox them all. Oh, I, oh, oh, oh! And I see the saw actually like throwing some. I see the saw then actually throwing some extra stuff. I didn't really see it in the listing. Let's see what's in here. peppermint syrup tanker and one of these flatbeds this is a hit flatbed so i'm gonna put those there now on to the next one which is of course a trackmaster mattel duncan even though i already have a duncan i'm thinking about i might just i will use this as my regular duncan i'm not sure and these are, and this one is in pretty good condition, except the sticker is coming off a little bit, but not a big deal. So we're gonna put them beside Freddy. Now this is another one. It's another one that's missing its shell. And this is a, and this is a hit toy company, hit toy company duck. And and look at all that corrosion. Ooh. Like I said, like I said before, I'll be giving these a test after I unbox them all because that has corrosion. Now I know. Now onto this. Another surprise, Thomas. And the and a CGI Thomas. I got I have another one of these laying around somewhere. The traction tires are in pretty good condition, so such as the body, the face, a little bit of an eyebrow scratch. Overall, in good condition. So I'm gonna put them there. And this and this surprise Thomas, I I actually have another one of these in the garage. But it's missing the middle wheel, and this sticker 
It's fading away. Look at that surprise face. And this came from a Jedi set, even and it's missing the traction tires. But hey, it's not a big deal. We won't really be using it because I already have one. We still got a whole lot left in the box. Now on to this next set. One. Come on, get out of here. Two, another set of Thomas's. This one's a Tommy. And this is in pretty nice condition, actually. Just look at none of the stickers are peeling, except there's a little smudge on the back of his sticker. The roof isn't bad. Nonetheless, nice condition. Special the trash tires. Made in 1992 Tommy. And that was a good year when all the good stuff was out. Now, this Thomas is gonna kind of got like a little banged and beamed up a little bit, but it's not bad. Now I got a few of these laying around too. And one of the screws are missing from this. And this is a hit toy company version, which isn't bad. Nonetheless, good. Now onto this one. Which is hit toy company Spencer. And I got, and I do have like a little, I should have another tender around here somewhere to actually pair this up because I might turn this into a custom. Your tour company spends a, traction tires are in pretty good condition. And the body, well, and the face, a little bit of scratch up from at least a little bit of play, but still good nonetheless. Now this, Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good one. Oops, gotta be careful. I'm unboxing this. But, and like I said before, I the, the, this is a part slot order. And this is a hit toy company, Edward. Has a little bit of stuff on the front. And surprisingly, it, it came with his battery cover. Because, because most of the time when you be seeing these engines, they be missing their battery covers. And this is a hit version. So I said, let's say I bring my Tommy version over here. A little identical. But this is this is my main one that I always use, so we're gonna put him back. So we're gonna so we're gonna put him. So I'm gonna move this back some. Make more room. Now on to the next thing. And this one doesn't even come with the remote. And this is a Mattel, I think. Someone says these are like a little bit harder to find. Y'all leave your answers in the comments because I'm not sure if this is harder to find or not. So this sticker is coming off a little. The other side is still the same. But overall, it's in really nice condition. Put them there. This this guy, this is gonna be an ex this is the most exciting part. This is the reason why I bought the slot. Which is another Trapmaster Billy. And this Billy is in pretty nice this is in nicer condition than my 
Unlike my other one. Let's say I bring my other one over here. Here's my other Billy. So I might, I would make this as my permanent Billy, or should I just take the top up of here and put it onto this Billy? But this Billy does run good. Oh. I don't know if this one will run because these haven't been tested yet. But well, let's put them back. Yeah, I'm going to put that Billy back. This next engine. Another Victor. The 2009 version. Sticker is a little coming off. The face is in good condition. This is 2009 hit. Oh, there. And this and this. A Tommy Emily's tender. A Tommy Emily tender. Which I'll be using to make eight, seven, five, four, six out of. So I think this is almost about it. And we might not test this Gordon because I don't have three AAA batteries with me. Right? And it's missing the battery cover and this switch. Well, this switch is hard to move. I don't think these were even played with as much. And well, the coupler is broken. And no, ain't nothing like a super super glue won't fix. And this last guy, this last guy is one, it's kind of like a rare one. Yeah, I, I think, I think some of these, I think some, some of the, my subscribers have this, which is Snowplow Thomas. Finally happy to finally happy to have this guy in my collection. It toy company and it's missing one of the traction tires. So so now the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and start testing all these to see which ones work and which ones need work. Except for talking Gordon and that RC Thomas, we will not be testing and get these cars out the way. So let's go. And this screw's already a little loose. And I'll be testing them on this Natford station piece. Okay, first start. Oh. Sometimes it'll do that. Not working so put this back together now next is this Emily's tender and, and, and remember what I said I'll be using this for a custom and the battery contacts are both clean so let's test it.
Come on, come on. Hmm. It's not working. This one doesn't work either. And these engines will be getting maintenance, so yeah. Next is Victor. I know this one will work because it's in really good condition. This guy's not working either. So, non working section, and this will be the working section. Next is Billy. Battery contacts are in good condition. Come on, Bella. Oh. Nope, he doesn't work either. And I did not notice that this lamp done broke away. <laughs> But let's test it. Hmm. And the coupler just done broke off. Let's give it. Hopefully, we'll at least have some luck. Now, on to this, Thomas. Okay. Why are these engines moving? There's got to be something in here that causes these engines not to move. Now onto this guy, and I can't stop admiring this guy. This has a little bit of corrosion, but hold on, hold on. Let's have let hold on. Let me take this battery from Arthur. Silly me, the whole time I've been test I was testing these trains with dead batteries. With a dead battery. So 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 we're gonna have to go through this again. So I'm on the wrong. Yeah, this Thomas isn't working. Now we're gonna now we're gonna do this tender. 
Yeah, I'll borrow Arthur's battery because because I know that battery has a whole lot of juice. Oh, this is. Oh, well, hey, at least we got at least we got a working engine. And that works. This will be the working section, and this will be the non-working section. Now, Victor, again. Yeah, this Victor doesn't work. Yeah, but so yeah, yeah, but so on eBay sold me this sold me this lot for like a good deal. Since it came with a few, uh, it came with like one rare engine, which of course it's Billy, out of the whole lot. Let's see if this Billy works. Oh, it's working. It's working. So I might use this. As, and so, and so, and so I might use this, use this, so I might start using this as my permanent ability since this ability is in a whole, is a whole lot better condition. And since this ability is in excellent condition, I'll use this as my permanent ability. As for this one, this, this is my bad condition one. And the motor's fast condition. These are these are working engines. Now the surprise Thomas is next. You hear that? You hear that? The motor does run, but. But I think there might be something in there which is causing that motor not to move, or his his wheels not to move. Might, might be something stuck in that motor. So so let's put that. But it does work, so we're gonna put it there. Down onto this Thomas. Oh, a little tap and it runs. Hey, it runs. Surprisingly. Now this guy's next. Snowy Thomas, no, Snowplow Thomas, that's where I start, oh, come on Thomas, run, and this also has a slipping gear, yeah, this has a broken axle gear,
Yeah, you see how loose that is? It's, it's, caused, it's caused by corrosion. It's caused by corrosion, so... Not working. I'm in that pile. Got these few more engines to test. These engines don't work. These four do. Now to this hit toy company, Thomas. Come on, Thomas. Come on. Now I think these be one of these action K and Thomas's. Oh, it works. Oh, and you see that wheel? That wheel shouldn't be doing that. But it does run, so. Yeah, you see that wheel? It's wobbly, so we shouldn't be doing that. So this Tom so I'll assume this Thomas wouldn't be safe to use. Even though even though I got a whole lot of these. Now, next one is Duncan. See how it works. It works. You hear that noise? Slipping gear. It's a slipping gear, but it works. Now, this duck. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah, this is for parts because. All right, battery corrosion then got all over it. And it's really loose. And that's and that's from a duck, so next one is Spencer. A little bit of corrosion. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's not working. Come on, Spencer, wake up. Not running. Whoops. Now the next one is Arthur. And this is a Tommy Arthur, by the way. It doesn't look bad. Let's see if it'll work. And this is a and this is kind of like a whole lot stronger. It runs. But look how but you hear that? You hear how loud it is? Very loud. That's loud. So I might, so I, I might, I might customize this one. So I'm not sure what, but that one worked. But yeah, this one works. This is, and this is a, actually a, a, a used Toby with no shell. I have some spare shells. And that and this one also has a slipping gear. So let's say I take this motor that battery out. And get the motor hit quite a few times. You know. Sorry, y'all. I'll, I'll give the motor a hit a few times. Doesn't work. So that has to go over there. Now on the Freddy. 
And sorry that this video took so long. I had to do a little bit of unboxing and testing the trains, of course, to see which ones works and which ones need work. And this ready also has a slipping gear. Yeah, sometimes you have to do this until you can get them to wake up and run. Doesn't work. So that goes in that non-working pile. Yeah, I can't test the talking Gorn because I don't have any AAA batteries with me. Now, the last engine that we can test is this Edward. But these battery covers be kind of like tough, tough be kind of at least like tough to get off. And if I can fix this Edward, I'll customize it. Mm. You see that? You see that wire, which is about to tear. Yeah, it's not gonna work. So I think, and I think that was the last of the testing for these engines. And I want to thank the seller so much for selling me this lot. These engines here are fine; that that don't really need work. But some of them have slipping gears. These seven, these seven, however, well, these two, I don't know why I'm gonna do it. Those, but these five here will be getting maintenance. And this talking Gordon, this might. It might work, but I think I have a spare extra battery cover. Let's, put, let's play some side by side. See all these three talking gorns? Two of them are customized, and this one I just gotten. And, that, and, and, and once again, I want to thank the seller so much for selling me this lot. What do y'all what what do y'all think of the lot that I've gotten? Leave y'all answers in the comments. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there for this video, and I'm gonna, and I will be doing some maintenance to these to these engines right here. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.